look at uh, the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 1. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nursed and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, children that are corrupters. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Why should ye be stricken any more, and ye will revolt more and more? The whole head is uh, sick, and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither uh, bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate, your cities are burnt with fire, your land strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except the Lord of hosts had left us uh, unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, said the Lord? I am full of you, the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs, or of he goats. When ye come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand, to tread my courts, bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and Sabbath, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hated. They are a trouble unto me, I am weary to bear them. And when you spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when you ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. I want you to get this. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured by the, with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. You see, God wants you and I to be in heaven, and we cannot be there apart from faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who came down from heaven to die upon the cross, be crucified for you and for me. Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures, and he was buried. And he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. How is the faithful city become an harlot? It was full of judgment. Righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Thy silver is become dross, thy wine mixed with water. The princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone loveth gifts and followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless. Neither doth the cause of the widow come unto them. Therefore said the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will ease me of mine adversaries, 
and avenge me of mine enemies. And I will turn my hand upon thee, and purely purge away thy dross, and take away all thy tin. And I will restore thy judges as at the first, and thy counsellors as at the beginning. Afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment, and her converts with righteousness. And the destruction of the transgressors and of the sinners shall be together, and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. For they shall be ashamed of the oaks which they have desired, and ye shall be confounded for the gardens that ye have chosen. For ye shall be as an oak whose leaf fadeth, and as a garden that hath no water. And the strong shall be as tow, and the maker of it as a spark. And they shall both burn together, and none shall quench them. Reminds me of the lake of fire and brimstone, where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth, a fire that shall never, ever be quenched. Look, God does not want you to go down there, my friend. But we will go there if we die without Jesus Christ as our Saviour. I'm here to tell you that your salvation is possible. You can be saved, my friend, by the grace of God through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. I wonder what have you done with the Lord Jesus Christ? That will determine where you'll be throughout all of eternity, my friend. It's either heaven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, or it's down in hell because you have rejected or neglected the Lord Jesus Christ who desires today to be your Saviour. What will you do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ, Saviour or Judge? It's up to you, my friend. You determine your eternal destiny by either receiving Christ or rejecting Him. It's up to you. You have a decision to make, my friend. It's either everlasting life or everlasting damnation. Everlasting death. Everlasting punishment, my friend. God does not want that for you. He doesn't want to have to judge you, but He will if you die without Christ as your Saviour. Isaiah 2, the word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the Lord, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into printing hooks, Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, Jacob, come ye and let us work in the light of the Lord. Therefore thou hast forsaken thy people, the house of Jacob, because they be replenished from the east, and are soothsayers like the Philistines. In other words, uh, uh, Satanists or, or People that uh, are into witchcraft and things like that. And they please themselves in the children of strangers. Their land also is full of silver and gold. Neither is there any end of their treasures. Their land is also full of horses. Neither is there any end of their chariots. Their land also is full of idols. They worship the work of their own hands. Which... Uh, that which their own fingers have made. And the mean man boweth down, and the great man humbleth himself. Therefore forgive them not. Enter into the rock, and hide thee in the dust for fear of the Lord, and for the glory of his majesty. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. 
For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. And upon all the cedars of Lebanon that are high and lifted up, and upon all the oaks of Nation, and upon all the high mountains, and upon all the hills that are lifted up, and upon every high tower, and upon every fenced wall, and upon all the ships of Tarshish, and upon all pleasant pictures. And the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. And the idols he shall utterly abolish, and they shall go into the holes of the rocks, and into the caves of the earth, for fear of the Lord, and for the glory of his majesty, when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. In that day a man shall cast his idols of silver, and his idols of gold, which he, uh, they have made, each one for himself to worship, to the bowls and to the bats, to go into the cliffs of the rocks, and into the tops of the ragged rocks for fear of the Lord, and for the glory of his majesty. When he ariseth to shake terribly the earth, cease ye from man whose breath is in his nostrils, for wherein is he to be accounted of? Isaiah 3 For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water, the mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of fifty and the, the honourable man and the counsellor and the cunning artificer and the eloquent orator, and I will give children to be their princes, and babes shall rule over them. And the people shall be oppressed, every one by another, and every one by his neighbour. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient, and the base against the honourable. When a man shall take hold of his brother, of the house of his father, saying, Thou hast clothing, be thou our ruler, and let this ruin be under thy hand. In that day shall he swear, saying, I will not be an healer, for in my house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not a ruler of the people, for Jerusalem is ruined, and Judah is fallen, because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord, to provoke the eyes of his glory, and show of their countenance both witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom, and hide it not, woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe well unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, but is those who are not saved. You see, you and I are wicked in the sight of the Lord if we're not children of God, if we're not saved. God classes us as wicked. We don't have to kill someone to be wicked, my friend. We are actually the enemies of God. You might not like to hear that, but it's the absolute truth. Yes, we are the enemies of God by our wicked works and by our sinful behavior. God wants to make us our friends. God wants to make you his friends, my friend. And we can only be made the friends of God by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, which he made upon that which he gave upon that cross of Calvary. He sacrificed himself upon the cross. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. I wonder, is your soul saved? Are you on your way to heaven? Are you still on the broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? Says here, woe well unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, but the reward of his hand shall be given him. The only way we can be classed as righteous is if we have the righteousness of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who came down from heaven to die upon the cross 
and be the divine sacrifice substitute upon the cross of Calvary and shed his precious blood that day on that cross in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. Uh, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women shall rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. The Lord standeth up to plead and standeth to judge the people. The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof, for ye have eaten up the vineyard and the spoil of the poor is in your houses. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and ride the faces of the poor, said the Lord God of hosts? For the Lord said, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking uh, and mincing as they go, and making the tinkling a tinkling with their feet, therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. In that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet, and their coals and their round tires like the moon, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs, and the uh, headbands and the tablets, and the earrings, the rings and nose jewels, the changeable uh, suits of apparel, and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins, the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink, and instead of a girdle, a rent or a tear, and instead of well-set well hair, baldness, and instead of a stomacher, a, gir, a girding of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty. Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and she, being desolate, shall sit upon the ground. Isaiah chapter 4. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. And it shall come to pass that uh, he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion, of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night, for upon all the glory shall be a defense. And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat, and for a place of refuge, and for a covert from storm and from rain. Uh, Isaiah 5. Now will I sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard, my well beloved have a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine. And built the of it. And also made a wine press therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes. And it brought forth wild grapes. This is speaking concerning Israel, concerning the Jews. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem, 
and men of Judah judge, I pray you, betwixt or between me and my vineyard, what could ha have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. And now, go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof, and it shall be taken away, and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. And I will lay it, it waste. It shall not be pruned nor dig, but there shall come up briars and thorns, in other words, weeds, and I will also I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant land. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression, for righteousness, but behold, a cry. Woe unto them that join house to house, that play field to field, till there be no place that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. In mine ears said the Lord of hosts, of a truth many houses shall be desolate, even great and fair, without inhabitant. Yea, ten acres of vineyard shall yield one bath, and the seed of an homer uh, shall yield an ephah. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink, in other words, alcohol, that continue until night, to wine inflame them, and the harp and the uh, vial, and tablet, and pipe, and wine are in their feasts. But they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hands. Therefore my people are gone into captivity, because they have no knowledge, and their honourable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. And the mean man shall be brought low, and the mighty man shall be humbled. And the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled, but the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment. And God, that is holy, shall be sanctified in righteousness. Then shall the lambs feed with, after their manner, and the waste places of the fat ones shall strangers eat. Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity, and sin as it were with a cart rope. That say, let him make speed and hasten his work, that we may see it. And let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh or near and come, that we may know it. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that could bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Woe well unto them that are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. Woe well unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for reward, and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Therefore, as the fire devoured the stubble, and the flame consumed the charm, so their roots shall be as rottenness, and their blossoms shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the Lord, the Lord of hosts, and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people, and he has stretched forth his hand against them, and has smitten them, and the hills did tremble, and their carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. And he will lift up an ensign to the nations from afar, and will hiss upon them from the end of the earth, and behold, they shall come with speed, uh, speed swiftly, 
None shall be weary nor stumble among them. None shall slumber nor sleep, neither shall the girdle of their loins be loosed, nor the latchet of their shoes be broken, whose arrows are sharp and all their bows bent. Their horses, whose shall be uh, counted like flint, and their wheels like a whirlwind. Their roaring shall be like a lion. They shall roar like young lions. Yea, they shall roar and lay hold of the prey, and shall carry it away safe, and none shall deliver it. And in that day they shall not roar. Uh, in that day they shall roar against them like the roaring of the sea. And if one look upon the land, behold darkness and sorrow, and the light is darkened in the heavens thereof. Uh, Isaiah chapter 6, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and his uh, train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims, uh, each one had six wings with twain or two, he covered his face, and with twain, or two, he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, 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 is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. How are you? I'm preaching the gospel. Well, there's lots of cars going past, and they're hearing me, for sure, because they're yelling out. So therefore, they're responding in the way that I would expect. Because, you know, a lot of people don't like hearing the fact that we're sinners and we're going to hell, but that's the honest truth. God wants us to be in heaven, that's the point. And that's why I'm here, because I'm concerned about people's souls and not them to go to heaven, you know. That's exactly what God wants too. So, you know, that's why I'm here. That's why I do this. Well, I'm not going to be in the shopping centre. No, that's the thing, you know. So I've got to go where I'm allowed to, you know, on a footpath or something. What about Danny Van Lee? Oh, I preach all over the place. I preach down at the train station, down at Waterford West near the shops and wherever. But I move around quite a bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, they're going to hear a few words, and that's all I really want. I mean, it's the word of God, it's powerful, it's quicker than any two edged than any two edged sword, you know, it's, it's very powerful, it will change people's lives if they receive Christ as their savior. You know. I don't want people to go to hell, obviously. Neither does God. You know, I, I, think, I think it's a bit strange that we decided to set up and Oh yeah, yeah. That's fine, you yeah, you and I will be a bit. Yeah, we're doing something to read, isn't we? Oh, I'm okay. Yeah? Right. Okay. Thank you. I'll only be here for another couple of minutes. I'll Have a good finished. night. See ya. Yeah, see you later. Have a good night. And the posts of the uh, uh, door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth, and said, Lo, this hath touched thy uh, lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, and uh, uh, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, uh, Until the cities be uh, wasted without inhabitant, 
and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate, and the Lord have removed men far away. And there shall be, sorry, and there be a great forsaking in the land, in the midst of the land. But yet in it shall be a tent, and it shall return and shall be eaten, and the teal tree as and as an oak whose substance is in, in them. When they cast their uh, leaves, so the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. Yes, you and I, because of our sinful condition before the Lord, are heading down to hell. Now, I said to a man earlier, God does not want us to go down to hell. He wants us to be in heaven. Now, the only way that we can be in heaven is through faith in the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who died upon the cross, that your soul and mine could be saved, that you and I could be redeemed back to the God of heaven. We would have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. The truth is found in the Bible, the Word of God. It's also found in a person, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who said in John chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I wonder if you come in repentance to word God, that is, and change your mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. In whom we have redemption, through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. Remember, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. Your eternal destiny depends on what you do with the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Will he be your saviour? Or will he have to be your judge? Remember, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. If you're interested in this, look me up at youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you and thanks for listening.